I'm pretty sure that most of you all have heard about Job, know his story, know his plight, but there's something about Job that we really don't think about, we don't talk about. Matter of fact, we have rarely, if ever, heard someone speak about this particular thing. Now, think about Job's story for a second. Within a few hours, matter of fact, a day or two days, in a short amount of time, Job loses everything. Now, think about that. He loses his family, he loses his children, he loses his business. He loses a lot. He loses probably friends. He loses his health or has lost a lot of his health. In all of that, Job is never told what we want to know. That is why. W-H-Y. Why, God? We don't know. The Bible never tells us that God tells Job why this is happening, why he has allowed him to be ravished in such a way. And so he's trying to figure things out and God never tells him why. So Job never gets the understanding as to what's going on. But what does Job get at the very end? Job one, obviously he gets restored, but two, and more importantly, Job has peace. That's the point that we that we need to take away from there, that Job has peace without getting all of the answers. Too many times we want to have the answers. We want to know, God, why is this? Why that? I don't, because if we have the answers, why? If we knew why, we might try to adjust it. But sometimes the why is not important. It's the who. Let me give you an example. Paul tells us in Philippians 4, he says, not that I speak from want, uh, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I am in. I know how to get along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity. In any and every circumstances, I've learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. Here it is. I can do all things or what Job went through. You can do those things. Whatever you're going through, you can do that through him, through Christ, in this case, who strengthens me. And he goes on to say in another passage, he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, look what he says. Therefore, I am well content with weakness, with insults, and with distress, with persecutions, with difficulties, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. How many of us go through these things? Difficulties, distress, weaknesses, insults all the time, and we're not content. We want to know why. We want to get to the bottom. We, want to have, we have to have an answer. Rather than trying to figure out why, we can be like Paul and figure out the who. He says that when I'm weak, I'm strong. How is that even made possible? Well, because when I'm weak, who do I lean on? I lean on Christ. And the same thing that Job did was he leaned on or he trusted in God. If we do the same thing, the why is not as important as the who. Amen.